these paltry insects. We're gonna fight a dragon? I'm with you, Kamira. Kamira. I am your queen. The cannibal dads? Oh man, they got a nasty bleed. And they get their health back after they eat. After they kill someone, they, they feast upon them, they cannibalize them. And get and get all their mana and health back. <laughs> What's that, Vaughn? So died when Sony Online ceased to be a thing. True confession mode EQOA for PS2 is still a MMO we cherish playing and had some amazing fun in for years. Yeah, we'll work on that after we get Vanguard going. That'll be our next project. Do you have a hookup to do um, console on your streams? I do, but man, I'm spoiled. I, I, I have a hard time playing console games now. Um, it just doesn't look as good or run as good of frames. So I gotta admit I'm a little spoiled now. So like it got to a point where I was like, I can't play this anymore on PS4, so I started playing on PC. All right, ground the dragon. I mean, I don't even see him. What's it talking about? It's supposed to be here. Oh, I'm supposed to use this. Okay, my bad, my bad. If I'd have been paying attention, I probably would have known that. All right, here we go. That looks right. All right, we got him down. Conveniently, this was good for one shot. Why do I not have my weapons out? What did I do? Oh, shoot. Why did I, How did my weapons get put up? Just just fighting a dragon with no weapon. Don't mind me. Yeah, that. What? How do I get my weapons back out? Oh, this is just perfect. What button did I press to do that? Okay, I might have to die once. Hang on, let me see if I can get out of his fury here. I don't know how to I don't know how a weapon swap just now. Can I not just go to inventory and that I want that, dude. No. How do you switch weapons in this game? Uh maybe it's that? Nope. Hang on, heal, heal, heal. It's not that. Maybe it's that? Nope, that's the first person. That's the switch quest. There it goes. Okay, there it was. Hang on, do it again. Do it again. All right, there we go. Now. Yeah, put me on hard mode with no weapons. And then, by the way, I thought my secondary weapon was a two hand, not bare fist monk style. Bleed, dragon! Take my ultimate attack! Oh, block, block. Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong attack. Got him. Just can't console anymore. 
and Queen Numara. Soon, Rimen and all of Anequina will once again belong to us. The reign of the Usurper Queen nears its end. On this, I give you my word as the heir of Anequina, the daughter of King Hemakar, and the true queen of Rimen. We have plans to make. Okay. The council with me. The speaker is correct. There's still work to do. Let's convene in Kaharjab Hall. Wait, who the heck said that? It sounded like Abner Tharn. Is he here? I don't see him. Wife can't get enough Nintendo. I still play my Switch. I do like the Switch. I'm a I'm a Super Mario Brothers fan. One day maybe I'll do a stream. I'm actually really good at the original Mario Brothers. I keep it right here. And every once in a while, fairly often, I plug it up and I play some Mario Brothers. I can actually tell the difference of playing it on the uh, Switch. On the online, the Nintendo Switch Online, and playing it with the real Nintendo controller on the Nintendo. There is a quite a bit of a difference. The Nintendo is still the <laughs> ultimate way to play it. Impressive, but don't let it go to your head. It was just one, and not even that large of a specimen. Plus, of course, no one will remember your feet. They're all going to be talking about the return of their queen. Why didn't you help me against the dragon? I had every faith in your ability. Oh, to yes, the yes. Mm -hmm. When I didn't have a weapon out. And tarnish your moment of glory. Right, right, right. Besides, my considerable strategic skills serve the Khajiiti cause better than my battle magic. I leave the mayhem to you. All right. Did you know that Kamira is the rightful heir to the Rimen throne? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Honestly, I had no idea. Kamira's rousing words were all well and good, but it will take more than inspiring speeches and old siege weapons to take down my half -sister. Yeah, his half-sister is um, an usurper who has taken the throne, is treating the cat people, the Khajiit, really badly, by the way. So did you and Gari uh, Shri come up with a plan on how to deal with the Uraxia? That's her name, by the way. Based on recent events, only one course of action makes sense. Okay. We must strike at Rimen and remove my half-sister from the throne before she rallies her forces. First, however, take this. Compensation for stopping the undead. All right. And killing a, a little a little violence for the better is, my you know, for the for the better good. Be an embarrassment to our family name. The time has come to deal with your Oh, wow, he's going to kill his sister. That's a little deep. I was thinking we'd just stop her. Permanently? You want us to kill your own sister? Half sister. Okay, half sister. And yes, if it comes to that. Euraxia conquered Rimen without authorization. She oppressed the Khajiit, unleashed hordes of undead, and made a deal with the dragon. Yeah, she's pretty nasty. If we don't depose her, I hate to imagine what she'll do next. We have the forces to make a direct assault on Rimen Palace. Who said anything about a direct assault? Subterfuge is called for. I suggest a small group. This is the Elsewhere expansion. Stop with. Okay, I'll speak with Lord Gareshri. Level up 45. Alright. Like I don't care what that guy's say. I don't like Abner Thorne. And Derek. If it has any chance to succeed, however, we need a way to get a small force into the palace without being seen. Luckily, I may have an answer. See, this is an honorable person right here. I like this guy. So what's your idea for getting us into the palace without alerting your Axis guards? The former custodian of the palace, he knew the place like the back of his paw. Mm. Remarkably, he survived your Axis conquest and the purge of the royal family. Find him, and he should be able to provide us with an unseen path into the palace. Who is this custodian, and where do I find him? Aneshi. Aneshi. He served as castellan for Rimen Palace under King Hamakar. Okay. You can find Aneshi southeast of here, where he now cares for a shrine to the ancient hero, Kunzari. Kunzari. Learn what he knows. Then that's a famous. It's a famous Khajiit in the lore. Um. I think he fought dragons. I'll head to the shrine and talk to Aneshi. 
which makes sense why they would mention them in this story. At level 45, you start doing undaunted pledges. What does that even mean? What does that mean, Kenneth? I don't know what that means. I've heard that be said before, but I don't think I know what that means. I've done almost nothing ESO besides Cyrodiil and running story. I've hardly even ran multiplayer dungeons. We'll be doing that tonight, though. I'll be learning. I'm hoping I like it. Because this is my... This is like my palate cleanser game. You know what I'm saying? Like, every once in a while, I play a lot of MMOs. So, every once in a while, I need a palate cleanser. This one does that. Even though it is an MMO, it, it's... It's just so different. Start getting monster sets. Oh, I didn't even know about that. And it's a faction you join? I think I started that. I'm gonna pull it up. I think I did start that. Like, by accident. I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh, I need to I need to level up. I forgot. Okay, what I get? A personal invitation from Maja All Regath to visit... Oh, never mind! Obviously, I did not start it because you can't do it to 45 like you said. Uh, looks like we can do that. We might we might do that today. I'm going to get a little further in the story and if I got time, that might be what we do. Alright, so here's my stats. It's not it's not the meta, guys. But I've been I've got to 40 on health. Now I'm, I'm piling my stats into Magicka because of my hill. It is not the meta. It is not the meta. Okay. I know, I know. It's what I it's what I'm doing. I'm probably doing all kinds of dumb things. Alright, let's go this way. Let's just get off the mount. We might be able to warp there too. Let's see. Nah, might as well run. Might as well run and enjoy the scenery. As tank you want the engine guardian set. Okay. Real good sets to aid certain play types. You play healer? What class did you pick? A lot of times in PvP I end up healing a lot. Just because I have hills and they're needed. Oh, look at that camel. Camels! Oh my gosh, it's Camel Joe. Can't believe they put him in this game. Thought he was banned. That was him. I'll never forget a face. Oh, they went underground. Sneaky little dudes. Tried all classes so far for healing. I like Warden, Templar, and Necro. Nice. Yeah, Necro looks cool in this game, but I've I've definitely never played one. What we got here? I will suffer no interruptions. What's his name? Thanar the Grave Prowler? These guys aren't usually bad. Oh my gosh, I can't take this guy. His health isn't even moving. Okay, this guy is not for me. Let's 
It's a name mob I will not be fighting today. Run, Sir Robin, run away. Oh, wait. Probably don't want to jump that far. Alright. How do we get down from here? Here we go. That jump looks better. I don't know if I'll survive that. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, I can't get over there. Can oh, maybe I can. Maybe it's the work. Here we go, here we go. Alright, now let's get out the horse. To the chopper! <laughs> to me, this game always felt like a single player game that you could play. It is exactly how I've always felt about it. Never gave me a sense of a true. That's why it's a palate cleanser for me. You know? Because it. It's technically an MMO, but, uh, is it really? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not going to judge it because I've never given the multiplayer a real chance, but we're about to. We'll be streaming this as a group and doing group focused content on the MMO 101 show on Twitch, which will be tonight, our first ESO session. Uh, so join us there, Pantheon. I've got the link in the description. Pantheon Plus on Twitch. I decided to join you. And she deserves to hear that I still live in my own words. Okay. Welcome to Aneshi's humble shrine, Kunzari. I wish I could climb. We remember the tales of a hero of ancient elsewhere. Now I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. Now forget about the artistic style for just a second of this game. Forget about that, and just look at the environments. Just the environments. Forget about the character models, right? Just look at the environments, right? You see that? I think Pantheon's going to look about like this. Think of what it looks like now. Think about that we're not even in alpha yet. We still got beta. I think it's going to end up looking about like this game. I always felt like that. Like, this is... Forget about the artistic style of the, the character models, right? Just look at the world. That's what I think the world is going to be most similar to. I think a lot of people, when it launches, are going to compare the graphics to ESO. Just my personal opinion. You find much comfort in the ancient tales of Gunzari during these trying times. Wait, and then she recognizes your friend. No. Uh -oh. She is grown now, more uh -oh. serious. But this one knows Princess Kamira by Jode. By Jode. Um, how you like? Well, this is one of the few games that I'm used to playing the controller because I played it on PS4 for so long that it feels at home to me. And plus, there's not many commands, right? Like, limited action set. It it works. I think it's fun on a controller. She's Queen Chimera now, and she remembers you too. We need your help. Aneshi's beloved wife, Zyma, mm. worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge at the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her Ooh. in the palace courtyard. If Ineshi can help, he will do so. Yeah, things have been picking up, Graham. Um, so uh, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Um, looking like we might, we might survive this. Maybe uh, we're going to assault Rim and Palace, but we need a way to slip inside without being spotted. Then you need to enter the palace crypts. Ooh, I like crypts. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. Ooh, that's kind of gross. Aneshi will write down Cannibal the dad, anybody? Where he hid his master key. The key opens a door in the sewer under the palace that leads to the crypts. Okay, I'll take the directions and go find your master key. Jode above. Old Aneshi can hardly believe his eyes. Wait, what's that? Princess oh, Aneshi's no. It is truly me. Wait, what's it say? Uh, follow the road to the west for a short time. Then turn left with the robe forks. This one you actually have to pay attention to this a little bit if I remember right. You're going to go west, turn left when it forks, veer slightly north off the road at the tilted pillar. Okay. <laughs> Among the scattered ruins, look for the ancient stairs. Then a fallen spire points away. Twin spiny peaks. Can I take this? Zama's flower grow near a wall. Dig beneath the second window on the far side where the dirt is piled a mound. Okay. Alright. West first. Follow the path to the west, okay? Alright, let's get on our mount. 
And then we're gonna, when it's, when it forks, we can go left. Isn't that what it said? This thing might just be pointing me straight to it also. I don't even see it on here. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can go left. And then... You know what? I'm just going in the direction of this thing. How about that? Get there through there? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. No. I don't think it's going to let us do it like that. It is showing... Oh, it's telling us to leave that. Okay. Alright, so anyways, keep following the path then. Okay. A direct approach would be the best. Gotta be this way. Broken pillar? Veer to the north? No. Broken pillar. Cannibal cat, Dad. That's what I feel like right now. We got three freaking cats. Okay. There's a wall up there. Is it up here? Might be. There's a broken pillar. Okay. We found the tilted pillar. Where are you? Why'd you have to hide this key in such a complicated spot, my man? Okay, second window? Isn't that what he said? Um, are these windows? Okay, so it's somewhere right in here. Flowers. He did say something about flowers, didn't he? Okay. Aha! Okay, it does point me to it. Fairly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it is a beautiful MMO, I agree. Yeah, it's open world. Yes, it is open world. Yeah, well... Yeah, it is open world, but... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it is, but it isn't. So, like... It feels open world, but, like... I'm, you have to zone in between these huge chunks. So, technically, it's just really, really, really big zones. But you forget it when you're playing. You, you, It does a good job of feeling like it is open world. Yeah, the music is awesome. Yeah, I agree. And the voice acting, I think, is really good, too. Minotaur! Oh my gosh, it did it again. Stand him. Ooh, got the grass on fire. drops all right let's go back might be able to warp let's see yeah we'll go to the city and head to the south from there <clears throat> it's open but so many way shrines you can run across some bordering zones like everquest one but everyone just uses shrines yeah 
Compared to a hub-based expansion pack like WoW, Shadowlands, this is very... Yeah, I agree to that, yes. Toss some holy water in his face, hot water, to piss him off. <laughs> yeah, they do a good job of hiding the seams, yeah. It feels like an open world. You have to actually think about it. Like, wait, is it? Um, yeah, we need to go south. And we're in the Khajiit area of the world, by the way. That's why the architecture is all khajiit -y. And this is the main city, but it's been usurped by a false human queen who is treating the Khajiit really, really, really badly, like second-rate citizens in their own country. And we are out to stop her. Uh, let's see. Where's the exit, though? There we go. All right, we're outside now. See, like, that city's seamless with the connected world, which is pretty cool because it's a pretty big city. Oh, not, not off the cliff. Probably should have stayed up there in retrospect. You think I can make that jump? Oh, 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 I can't if I fall. Oh, dang it. I guess I can't make that jump. Manually block and dodge, yeah. Everything in a straight line this game that adds exponentially to my immersion. Yeah, that's why I really enjoy playing it. Like, just chilling out. Getting some story. Because, man, there's a ton of places to go see quests. Even the random quests out in the wild. Sometimes I'm just like, every random quest, I'm going to do it tonight. You know? Every time I see a random little person like, help me, or whatever. I do it because they're all good. All the quests are actually pretty, like, well written and good. There's no like, I've not found a single stupid quest, right? Where it's like, go kill ten dire wolves. I've not, you know, like they don't do it like that in this game. It's a cool looking area too. Where is she? Okay, she's there. We could actually wait a minute. It's, we can actually just travel there. What city is this? Blackwood? That's a really cool looking area too. Let's just run there. We're almost there. Little tavern. No, look, just... Should I try to get her out? She's inside of it. It was. She was saying how cute it was, and he ate her. Okay, I gotta see what's going on here. I gotta see if I gotta see if I can get her out. You hear her in there? That's what I'm talking about. That's how they do side quests in this game. I'm gonna get you out. Hang on. Oh, there she is. Ugh, I smell like old socks that have been left in a bog. Thanks for the help. I'm going to wash up. <laughs> so there you go. That's like, that's like how they do little small quests in this game. It's, it's pretty cool. It's actually the coolest way in any MMO, I think, that they've done them. I think Pantheon's going to give it a run for its money with the uh, perception system. But like, for now, released, that's cool. Like, I didn't even know about that quest. That was, I just... Run along and heard her saying something interesting. That's cool. It's funny that I was just saying that and then something like that happened. Alright. Uh, the front of this place it looks like. It's over here I think. Take the cart to Rock Grove. Isn't aren't we going right here? Oh, 
while we take the car, aren't we going, like, right here? Alright, well, let's do it. I need your able app and my wife just wanted coffee. Go fetch it for me. You get one copper. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, please hit that like button, guys. And if you're new here, please hit subscribe. We play MMORPGs all day, every day. Okay. Come, Ojan. Speak. How did you arrive here? Especially at such a time as this. Well, first of all, hold off on smoking a pack of cigarettes a day, because your voice is screwed. Secondly, Malaza sent me to aid your people. Oh, so he made it to safety? Such some last news in a gloomy moment. Though I expected him to send one of our allies. And no matter. You have come, and that is what matters. At this point, I should appreciate any help we can get. Well, you do need help. You need to go get your lungs checked because I think that you I think that you have lung cancer, um, judging by your voice. But what do you need me to do? Our stone talker, dust on the scale. Claims to know who led this attack. All day, air day. Thank you for the super chat. JT Gahen. <laughs> JT GHN. Thank you very much, man. I'm in a raid. What? Thank you, JT. GHM for the twenty dollars super chat, my friend. Thank you very much, man. All right, so what? I'm not in a raid zone. I'm not doing a raid. You guys are joking me. You guys are joking with me. This is where the story took me. Uh, speak to him. He's tend to one of our wounded, and I'm grateful for your aid. I'm in an aid zone. You actually put an R there. I'm in the aid zone. See. That's the cigarettes. That would be the cigarettes. This happens. I wish he were here for me to collect. Hmm. Dust on scales knows the Zamir well. His guidance will be invaluable for your efforts. Trial equals raid. How did I end up in a raid? Warriors, hunters. Our tribe sees them as all the same role. But yes, that is my duty. When I look around, it seems I may be the last one. They have raid zones in this game? The of my root kin sunk deep into Sulzan scales. They fell to keep the tribe. Okay, I've had enough of her voice. Um. I am, you're right. You discovered a trial. It's best to adventure these areas with a large group. How did I accidentally do that? Did I just... Oh, I bet you accidentally switched over to it when I was trying to figure out how to... Uh... Okay, this is what we actually need to do. All right, thanks for the heads up. We will not be doing a raid solo today. I'm sorry to inform everybody. What's the name of this zone? Bla oh, Blackwood is. Yeah. I already did the quest here, it looks like. Because I've unlocked all the stuff. Blackwood is a really cool zone, though. Um, where, where do I need to go again? Uh, back in... Uh, where's it at? Where is... Is this it? Aradon, right? Tanswool. Let's just zoom in and see if I'm right. No, this ain't it, is it? Well, anyway, I'll just follow where it tells me to go. Until I get back. Yep. I was just following the quest. I didn't realize I was on a trial quest. I thought I was just doing the story. This cart does not take me. There's no horse attached to it. So let's... Um, where's it tell me to go? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. My bad. My bad, everybody. I'm sorry, Blackwood. My apologies.
hate having to resummon my mount. Let's see if I can make that jump. Let's get a little ground here. Oh, I didn't even jump. I always try to avoid the water just because I'm too lazy to do this. Anybody else play this game feel that way? Like you really hate to get in the deep water. Like you do everything within your power to not have to get in the deep water. Just so you don't have to resummon your mount. Am I the only one? Alright, we're going this way. Beautiful zone though. I love Blackwood. Over the river and through the woods. Back to the quest we go. That guy doesn't look like he's getting ready to raid. A solo raid. <laughs> At low level, not even max level either. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Let me fix that for you. That a little better? Is that better? Mount can't swim and no underwater exploration. Weaknesses. <laughs> Weaknesses. <laughs> True. No underwater. That. Uh, yeah, there's none. Can you even go underwater? You can go underwater. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Had to think for a second. You, not in every... You know, it has to be deep enough. But yeah, you can go underwater. You had me confused for a second. Wait, can you? Actually, maybe you can't. This seems kind of weird, actually, for an Elder Scrolls game. I don't think I ever realized it. Yeah, you're right. You can't go underwater. Over here. Oh, no. I hate this guy. I may not have figured out Chimera's true identity, but things have been hectic since I met her. Zamorak, though, he was easier to surmise. I recognized the bearing of the King's Claw the moment I saw him. Did you find us a way into the palace? What other MMO does it remind me of? It doesn't actually remind me of any other MMO. Uh, it actually does remind me of just Elder Scrolls games. It's so similar. It's so similar. I, I don't think they... I can't say there's any other MMO like this. It's pretty unique. Doug Castellan suggests we enter through the crypts. He gave me the master key. Crypts. So that means another delight. Maybe 14. If I had to pick one, I'd say Final Fantasy 14. But it's not much like it. Oh, well. I have another task for you to deal with first, however. Okay. What do you need me to do? The siege weapons aim down into the city. Oh. We need to disable them before Euraxia realizes she's under attack. I like that idea. Just to spite us. Meet Nalado and destroy two of the installations. Okay. Chimera will take care of the third. You think Zamrak was the King's Claw? Just thinking out loud. A habit I acquired during my time in the archives at White Gold Tower. Zamorak once served as a royal protector. From his bearing and the way he hovers near Chimera, he had to be one of the King's Claws. It's quite obvious. If you say so, I'll go help Captain Nalado destroy the siege weapons now. Captain Nalado's waiting for you near the siege weapons. Work with her to put them out of commission. Once we see the weapons go up in flames... We'll Alright, I don't need to ask you more questions. I don't like that guy. Alright, let's go. Although this is a solid plan, so Euraxia has the... Uh, she has siege weapons pointed out at the people. So just so if they try to rebel, she can start slaughtering them. So we're going to, we're going to try to s sneak in and destroy them. Who just screamed that at me? I'm going the wrong way, too. I can probably teleport. Let's see. Where is this the city, is it? Oh, this is Remen. Okay, yeah. Never mind. We're going in. I won't.
Okay. Can you get up there? Let's go this way. Ooh, that looks cool. Alright, there's Captain Nalado. Let's get this quest started. Good, good. We have work to do. Are you ready to disable the siege weapons and wreak some more havoc? I'm ready. Nobody likes darn nobody. I agree. I'm ready. What's the plan? The soldier guarding the gate to the south weapons platform appears bored. This one plans to give her something to get excited about. Okay. When she leaves her post, slip through the gate and set fire to the siege weapons. Ooh. Be quick, Five Claw. There's only a single soldier guarding the south weapons platform? At the gate, yes. Hmm. This one observed a few more soldiers on the platform, but not many. The usurper queen feels secure in Rimin. We're about to change that. After this, all right, I'll go set fire siege weapons on the south platform. Here we go. Watch as Nalado becomes a sleek Eurexian soldier. Nice. Oh, how do they see with this thing on? All right, where are we going? Is it? I'm assuming it's. Okay, it is on this level. Oh, this is it right here. Okay. Oh, I wasn't very sneaky, was I? Here. I should have hit behind the tree, I guess. Okay, but anyway, she fell for it. With my Metal Gear Solid style. Crazy stealth skills. I'm just going to kill them. I'm not going to try to sneak them. I don't know how to sneak Oh, this guy's healing him. Set it on fire! With that lit torch I already had ready to go. Played this all, uh, a lot up to about two years ago, but too many dolmens. Hey Nathan, what's up Wild Relic? Alright, last one, I think, on this platform. Haven't played this. Oh, already read that. Oh, no, uh, I haven't played this a long time. Probably since around last December, but I played on PlayStation. Yeah, that, me too. I played it on PlayStation all the way up until now. <laughs> until like a few months ago, and I finally was like, decided to start playing it on. Um, can you get to the north from this platform? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Decided to start playing on PC. Yeah, I like the open world PvP a lot, actually. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. Alright, now let's go to the north side. Lunch done, muted, and back to lurking. What's up? 
one can't wait to get out of this dungy armor. Back to the lurking. Oh, I'm trying to kill the, the good guy. That's not a good guy. Oh. Look how stealthy I am. <laughs> I forgot. I thought I didn't know she could do it to both of them. Oh wow. Go. Destroy the siege weapons. She's trying to she's trying to trick him, I'm just up in his face like ah, ah. <laughs> That's how I handle problems apparently. He died anyway, so I could have done a lot quicker. Burn it! One more. Set it ablaze! Move now! There it is. Burn. Boom. Queen Carmira destroyed a far platform from over here. Okay. She did it. Now let's meet the others at the sewer entrance. All right. It's time to Time to overthrow the, the evil queen. Wait, am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Oh, come on. Why, why would I not be able to do that? How do I get? Do I go down here? Probably. It's a sewer. Aha, here we go. Here come the others now. A queen should not rush into danger. It is unseemly. This one should be at her side to keep her safe. Nalado will follow orders, though. We must make our way through the crypts and into the palace before Kamira gets into too much trouble, yes? Is it really a good idea to split up our party? Kamira is queen now, so this one must do as she says. There are dangers ahead, regardless of whether we stick together or not. But we have a better chance of reaching the Usurper Queen if we approach from multiple directions. Kamira can handle herself and she will be with Abner Tharn. Yes. And if anything happens to our new queen, this one will have Thorn's head on a plate. A lot of people have said that before. Too much time, Five Claw. Are you ready to enter the sewers and find the? Those, the Tharn family and the lore has always been up to some no good. I'd like to mention. Let's go find the crypt lore. All right, charge up my weapon. I don't know if I know what you mean. Do you mean this? Uh, how do you do it? Um. Uh, is this maybe enchant? Let's find a good one. Oh, I don't have. Well, I have frost, shock. That's my best one I've got. We'll put that on it, and then put a poison on. Is this what you're talking about? 
Oh, I got a lot of these. Uh, let's go ahead and equip one of those because those are pretty good. Is that what you mean by charge up your weapon? Let me make sure before I head in here too that... Uh, where does it show the... Um, I guess that's it. Eight? No, that's how many poisons I got on it. Where does it show if it needs to be repaired? I should be good. I generally repair every t often. Oh, it's the health bar, actually. Okay, so we're still pretty good. Alright, here we go. I hope that's what you meant, try. If there's something else, I don't know about it. Your claws. There is the door to the crypts. Let us see if the master key still works. Okay. The charge is empty. You have to refill it. With the soul gem? I don't know how to do that. Oh, it says charge. Did it do it? How'd you know that? Explain to me how you knew that, because I don't know how to tell what you're talking about. I didn't even know about that. All Napalm playing one of my all-time favorite MMOs. Have too many hours and achievements in this game. Enjoy. You so gems. I, I think it worked, right? You didn't say it didn't work. <laughs> this one hasn't visited these scripts in a long, long time. Yeah, I will, Logan. I've always just played this game single player run through the story and just kind of did whatever I wanted. I've never... Uh, there's a lot of things I obviously don't know. I didn't know about that charge thing at all. Oh, stop it. Alright, let's check the map here. Yep, right direction. Yeah, I keep doing that. My other character, the X button, is a projectile. Oh my gosh! Yes, I did do it. There's a blue bar on the weapon it depletes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what that... Uh, I don't know where you're seeing that at. Is it when you go to it in the inventory? Templar, puncturing sweeps. Yeah, I have that. I'm using puncturing sweeps on my, uh... Or is that the bleed attack? I'm thinking of the low sweep. I think it's what I'm thinking of that I thought you meant. You're talking about the one that makes them bleed that I got out, aren't you? Is this the right way? Nope. You go up this way. This game gets respect from me just for having uh, public dungeons, to be honest. Even though they could be cooler, there's, it's still pretty awesome that there are a lot of public dungeons in this game. When the blue bar is low or empty, it's time to recharge and continue. Wait, I'm going to see if I can find that. This is the royal crypt, but it has been disturbed. just don't see a blue bar. I don't know... I don't know where you're seeing that at. Because the blue bar out here when I'm attacking is my mana. I don't know where you're seeing the blue bar at. I don't know how to check it. The icon's gone now that you fixed it. Oh, it only shows up when it's... Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, Himakar, bringer of peace, beloved father, honored king of Iniquina. Now he prowls the sands behind the stars until the next pounce. Okay, uh, when the bar is low, seems to recharge. Continue getting the effects on the weapon enchant. Yeah, your inventory while looking at your weapon, you'll see the blue bar. Okay, okay. So I just gotta watch for it. See if I notice it next time it happens. Once I know where it's they at. His body. They desecrated the king's grave. And from the looks of it, the queen's and Kamira's siblings as well. Why would you actually dig up the royal family? Zamarak has no clue. This royal crypt was prepared when King Hemakar ascended to the throne and married Queen Numara. 
Why enter the bodies and then dig them up six years later? Could have been Zumog Foom or one of the necromancers? That's a good question. Dark moons. This one hopes that is not the case. To even think such a thing makes Zamarak's fur stand on end. We should hurry and find Kamira. Find the queen. Okay. Let's do it. We need to find a way into the palace and quickly. Yaraxia not only murdered our king and queen, she desecrated their graves. She's a monster. She is a monster. It's the spear conal AoE attack, but honestly, the PvE outside of vet trials is so easy. You can play it however you want, which is both good and bad. Great for fun, but you won't ever get those EQ. That's right. That's right, Logan. That is so true. It doesn't force you to be good. On when you're just doing normal stuff. Making you want to install the game. It's the necromancer, Zumag Foom. They locked us in. Queen Euraxia will be delighted to hear that we have guests. Oh, look, more cats. I do adore fleeing and then roasting the nasty creatures. If you'll excuse us, we have another member of your party to deal with. <laughs> I'm of two minds. I want to watch your cadavers tear these cheeky mud crabs apart, but I also want to deal with my inferior duplicate. What to do? What to do? Okay, then. Now what? Oh, there's another way. Leave the door to Zamarak. This one will make an exit. Oh no, it's an undead. The undead are coming back out of there. They're mummified. Nice. He just punched that gate down. Go left while this one goes right. It's a nice painting. Royal chambers. All right. Coming up on the royal chambers. Look at your offhand. Currently, I saw it. Oh, you gotta do it with offhand too. I mean, I have time here before this. Let's see. Uh, can enchant it. Let's do the magicka. I didn't see. I don't think I can do it on my offhand. Come along. Yeah, I need to put my two hand on my off on my. I think that's what you mean. You didn't mean my offhand is in my shield. You meant my uh, switch over. I need to make it a two hand. Release our friend Caldwell. Well, that wasn't pleasant. You go on. I'll be along in a snap. Okay then. You get reads. 
The way of Bandari. Do not slander another child of the Bandari. Remain mindful in all dealings. The gift must be returned in kind. A fair trade need not be fair only in gold. Truth and cleverness need not be enemies. Find what is lost, trade what is found, and leave what is has no purpose. There. Make haste. Euraxia is in the palace courtyard with Mulamnir. Be cautious. We need to know what Euraxia and the dragon are planning before we attack. Main hand back up. Let's see. These kind of suck. Is that my best one? Yeah. Let's make sure it's not what I got out now, though. Nope. Okay. Your main hand and offhand have enchants on them. The blue bar shows you have or don't. Yeah, but it didn't say I could charge the shield. See? Maybe I'm out of, uh, maybe I'm out of soul, Sh whatever's, so shards, I don't know, anyway, it'll be fine, this is easy, yeah, don't wreck, I think I'm just out of soul shards, because I can't charge it, it's not shown as an option, the necromancers have already agreed to serve Calgronteed, you no longer interest us, Euraxia Thorn. Mm. How dare you! We had a deal! What's this now? My incompetent half brother and. Aha! The lost princess returns. Oh my gosh! She just killed her immediately. My parents have missed you so, princess. Oh, that's messed up. Can I kill him? Now do me a favor and just die. I'll take down that shield. You deal with the undead. Is it appropriate to kill him? All right, well I'm gonna do it. Undead have to go. It's not really. It's not really your dad, okay? It's not really your dad. It's just his body, okay? Just a little desecration. Not actually murdering your dad, okay? I shouldn't have wasted it on her. The shield is down. I'll destroy you all. Oblivion, shield me. Hmm, she's not taking damage, is she? Now she's taking damage. The rules of oblivion shield me. Destroy them, my loyal servants. Destroy them, my loyal servants. Okay, my thing is recharged now. Oh, come on. She's not even taking damage. Dang it. There we go. Well, wasted that. She's shielded. Get 
get to kill it before? That might be the trick. You gotta kill it before she does. I can't kill it before she can. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There we go. All right. We can mourn Nanado later. I, I need to see the throne. She's down. This all began. I knew Euraxia would need to be dealt with, but sending Chimera's murdered parents against us, death was too easy an end for my half sister. I'm concerned that the dragons continue to work with the necromancers, though. You don't have any regrets about killing your sister? Half-sister. Okay. And do I really seem like the sentimental type to you? Mm-mm. Your axia may be gone, but Mulamnir mentioned his leader, Kalgronti. He said the necromancers were helping them, and your axia said something about a moon gate to the southwest. Mm -mm. Maybe Kamira or Gareshri can tell us about this moon gate. Perhaps. The next queen of an equina said there's no time to mourn the dead, but I worry what happened here could affect her judgment. Let's get to the throne room and try to figure out why the dragons need necromancers and a moon gate. Okay. You just start making time to play this again. Yeah, it's a good game, man. Especially just to relax, you know. It's not the best MMO ever made or anything. But just to relax and play and... Enjoy the lore. It's a good game. I've always, I've always played it. Later. I fear more pressing matters must concern us now. Okay, talk to Kamira. May the dark take Euraxia. She sent my own parents against us, and killed the brave and honorable Nalado. Mm. But we have no time to mourn. We must determine what the dragons seek at the ancient moon gate. Come here, those are your parents, and Captain Nalado died defending you. Are you sure? Do not presume to tell me how I should feel. Okay, fair I enough. I am the queen now, and I do not have the luxury or the time to grieve. Five Claw. Those were not my parents. They were animated husks. Nothing more. That's right. And I will remember Nalado's sacrifice. After... After what? After we finish saving elsewhere from the dragons. You are still with me in this five claw. You and Abner Torn both. We ended one threat, but two more remain. I will go on without you. But I would rather have you at my side for what is to come. I'm with you. How do we stop the dragons? The war is far from over. Even a queen needs to consult with such learned personages as Garish Ree mm. and Abner Tarn every now and then. Okay. Take this in recognition of your efforts on our behalf, Five Claw. Then talk to Garish Ree. Ooh, usurper slayer. To think. Is that a one hand or a two hand? His throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat a two hand. Thirteen eighteen deals frost damage. Uh, that's four thousand two hundred ninety-four. Yeah, that's better. Also, I need to check. I think I've already leveled up one-handed all the way. I have. I should probably switch some stuff over to two-hand. Start leveling that up. Let's switch to my two-hand. For a little bit here. Um, and let's move some of these guys out. So dizzying swing, same enemy with an upward swing dealing 4,903 physical damage, same off balance. The enemy is already off balance, stuns them. That's pretty good. So let's assign that to. I think that is a one hand ability there. So we'll put it there. What about Stampede? Launch across the earth, smashing the enemy. I'm not a big fan of that one. Focus your strength into a mighty swing, dealing 
That's pretty good. Spin around and strike an enemy down, dealing. Ooh, that's good. That's got to be on there. Um, let's put that on B. Well, hang on, though. Would it be better to cleave? I think it'd be better to... Yeah, that'd be better. Cleave would be better. Let's put that on B and leave our other stuff. There we go. That way we can level up my two hand a bit. Because I need to. I've already got... I got my one hand shield already at max, so... Uh, Sanctified Dead Soldiers in Merivix Folly. I could play Skyrim for a little while, but even it eventually caused me to feel nauseous. I could never play any of the other Elder Scrolls games because they would trigger my motion sickness. Oh, interesting. But this one is different somehow. Huh. Interesting. My wife gets motion sickness, too. She has to, like... If you watch my wife play, the way she does her camera looks really bizarre, but it's to it's to fight her motion sickness. And she can't play VR at all. She gets sick immediately. Like, puts the headset on, gets sick. Alright, let's see if we can warp somewhere closer to... Is it in town? Uh, is it that temple we were in earlier, maybe? That's a pretty sick looking axe. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I love how traveling in cities of MMOs, how ridiculous it is that we travel around. Like, no way would you travel through a city like this in real life. All right. I am on the right quest, right? Sh starting to f get worried here. Let's double check. I think I messed up, didn't I? So I shouldn't have to be taking this wagon. I'm hearing no VR for you either? Here's a question for chat or Nathan. Okay. I think I need to go back. Where is that? I think I was supposed to talk to that guy and get the next quest. Um, that was in the main castle, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, I think I messed up. I was supposed to get that quest. Um, is this right? Yeah. Uh, I was watching a Loving Robots channel where he does interviews with people that have been a part of EverQuest or Vanguard's history. He was a developer himself. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I was. I was totally supposed to get the quest here. Alright. Laura Gareshi. Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira gathers her thoughts, the rest of us have work to do. Tell me, what happened in the palace? We killed Euraxia, but Nalado died, and the dragons and necromancers are still working together. You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, mm. I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. I can explain that, Grain. I heard them mention a moon gate to the southwest. Gal, uh, Cal Grontied seems interested in the place. Would they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her. But... She refused to elaborate. 
Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. I'll help Abner Tharn determine the significance of Euraxia's final order. Even now, Abner Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, Euraxia was his half sister. Her death is bound to affect him. I suggest that you tread warily. You're worried about Abner Tharn? Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I understand. I'd say I'm more concerned that his nonchalant attitude toward his sister's death might be hiding his true emotions. Mm. I trust that he's here to help, but he's still a Tharn. He's still a Tharn, that's right. All right, so I'll explain. Uh, so, Graham said in a chat with Doug Cronkite, they were talking about Brad as he had recently passed. They are talking about forgiving him from the early part of development of Pantheon and danced all around. Yeah, so, basically, um, shorthand story is that Brad McQuaid, like, during the Kickstarter days, like, which, by the way, that version of Pantheon doesn't exist anymore. Um, that was going to be a very small project not the massive mmo that they're making today um the kickstarter um didn't make it and the early funds for pantheon um apparently the money was mishandled and brad used some funds to pay for a sick person in his family uh to get treatment something of that nature, medicine, something like that. Um, and uh, basically, they didn't have the money they needed, and he had to fire a bunch of people um, because he couldn't afford to pay them. Um, that's what they're talking about. At the very beginning of uh, Pantheon, that happened. Um, so there, that's what they were talking about. Uh, the interesting part to me is, is that if you had a sick loved one in your family and you had the money to pay them and you felt like you could get that money back and pay it back anyway, I mean, dude, that's that's not a good spot to be in. I don't feel like you need to forgive him, right? Like, he did what most humans would do. You know what I mean? When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I was trying to determine the meaning of this document, but so far the secret eludes me. I came to offer my help. Did you find out anything about Euraxia's final order? I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. I've been searching for more, but I haven't made much progress through the royal stacks. With your help, perhaps the search will go more quickly. Okay, tell me about the dictated letter you found. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S, the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but gives no indication as to who they are or what the favor might be. Hmm, about your half-sister. We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. Now... Look around and see if you can find anything pertaining to this unfinished letter. I'm sure it refers to Euraxia's final order. Okay, I'll see what I can find. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So many, many papers. She was a prolific writer, I'll give her that. At least she didn't destroy her files before she died. What should I be looking for again? Anything pertaining to this so-called final order. While we're looking around, let's see if we can find anything that mentions the dragons, the necromancers, or anything significant. Who knows? We might uncover something unexpectedly helpful. We might. Uh, gray area, yes. Uh, making choice we never thought we'd have to, absolutely. For loved ones, man, I mean, dude, you, you know, like, you work your whole life for, for your family, typically, um, and do whatever it takes, and, you know, that's your that's your point of being at at certain points for some people uh right and so for most people i would say uh, with with kids and family uh close family so it's not that crazy this game could have been very very good yeah i think it's good i think it's i actually would say it's an excellent game i wouldn't say it's an excellent mmo yet we'll see because i haven't done a lot of group content so i don't feel like i'm really got the right to 
discuss it, but we're going to start a group content tonight on Pantheon Plus live doing group content. And I've never really done that, so. They're actually personal. Okay, could you miss? I'm not going to read all this. Old Khajiiti legends and rumors of a last dragon guard. Intriguing. Okay. Captain's letter. I'll put it up here in case you guys want to pause it and read it, but I'm not going to read it. Captain Sorlinia. That must be Captain S. And the Cygnus Irregulars are Imperial troops under the command of Prefect Kalo at Sandswirl Manor. Okay. I really like that statue. Okay, I'll read this short. This report summarizes my conclusions concerning the dragons that made their presence known throughout Northern Elsewhere. The dragon that calls itself Mulamir defers to an even more powerful creature known as Kal Grunted. He has provided dragons to support our efforts against the Khajiiti rebels. These massive beasts have been an instrumental in many of our victories, just as you predicted. If only we could convince Malamner to lend us more than a single creature at a time, we could retake control of the entire region. Unfortunately, the dragons seem incapable or unwilling to discern a difference between our troops and the enemy. They take no care to avoid friendly casualties and seem to revel in destruction, no matter the target. Our fear of control of these creatures is haphazard at best. My recommendation follows. Order Molinir to instruct the dragons to obey the chain of command. Weapons work best when we can maintain complete control over their actions. Also, we must perform a search for the dragons to seal our allegiance or our alliance. I suggest we send an assassination squad to eliminate the last dragon guard believed to be hiding in the elsewhere wilderness. Huh. Centurion Yegus, royal strategist to the queen. Okay. Control dragons, what folly. But what was that about killing the last dragon guard? I think you found everything I need to fill in the blanks. Let's talk. Okay, let's talk. Whoops, that's not talking. The documents you uncovered allow me to make sense of this unfinished dictation. I believe I now know the contents of Euraxia's final order. So what was it? Euraxia ordered Captain Sorlinia to assassinate a dragon guard in an effort to appease the dragons. So Linnea plans to commandeer as many additional soldiers as necessary from Prefect Kalo at Sanswell Manor and retrieve a report. Dragon Guard? I don't understand. Neither do I, at least not fully. The Dragon Guard were the sworn protectors of the Imperial Emperor. At least they were until they fell out of favor. Euraxia has ordered her assassins to murder what she claims to be the last Dragon The last Dragon Guard? Don't ask me. The Dragon Guard I knew failed to protect the potentates and were disbanded in disgrace. They claim to have descended from legendary Akaviri dragon hunters. Hmm. But that's all it was. A legend. Or was it? We need to get to Sanswirl Manor. Okay, I'll head to Sanswirl Manor and find Prefect Kalo as soon as I can. We can't take any chances. Euraxia's final order directs her assassins <clears throat> to murder the last Dragon Guard. If the dragons consider this threat real, we need it on our side. Meet me west of the city on the outskirts of Sanswell Manor. Okay. Let's do it. Graham, thank you. Been blown up chat. Sorry. All hell napalm. Thank you, Mr. Graham. Blow that chat up. Thank you, Graham. Blow it up. Yeah, I do agree with you about Vanguard and the pools, though. But the crown is not yet yours. Yes, yes. I must be recognized by the main and Queen Eren. Which reminds me. Has the Dominion sent us any aid? Mm -mm. A few advisors, some gold, but no troops. We are on our own. We're on our own. We got this, guys. We got this. Uh, let's check the map, actually. Going over there. Okay, that's not far from the city. Let's just run on out.
How do you get out of here? Here we go. Saints Row Manor. Oh, uh, I, I don't know if I said it or not. Graham, I got a little distracted with them talking in the game. Thank you very much for the super chat, my man. Thank you. You want a Templar? I sure am. Really enjoyed playing ESO on the Xbox before I got a working PC again. It wasn't quite the same as playing an MMO on PC, but it was one of the best MMO ports on console. I, c I can agree with that. It works really well. That's how I played all the way up to now. Oh, there he is. An imperial garrison housed in a Khajiit estate. My half sister spared no expense, I see. Hmm. It is quite nice. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers. Mostly seasoned imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. You think we'll have to fight our way in? I prefer to avoid unnecessary... Oh, come on, dude. Course, not the sneaking stuff. Forces. Okay. We must All right. do what we must okay. to complete All right. mission. All right. I'll work my way down from the upper levels of the house. You find your own entrance and we'll meet somewhere inside. Alright, I'll meet you inside the manor. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence. Well. And keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike if we're going to save the Dragon Guard. I don't want to know more about Dragon Guard. Alright, let's go. Ah! What if I can't unlock that? Oh yeah, I got new abilities. I like that swing. That's pretty nice. What about this one? A fur coat out of that tiger. Are you talking about out of me? Is that... The guy was saying he was going to make a fur coat out of me? I'm a human. Dude, that guy's the real cannibal dad. Alright, let's go inside here. If, it, if I can unlock it fast enough. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got it. Aha, right on top of something we need, too. Oh, I guess while I'm at it, I better start remembering to do this. Enchant. Um... Uh, Give it a shock and also charge it. All right. Give some priest command. Blah 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 blah. Got it. All right. What's over here? Oh, they're saying that because I'm... I see, I see. It's a joke. It's a joke. I see. I feel like this two hand should be doing more damage than that. Seems like it's the same damage as my one hand. Is that because my one hand was skilled all the way up, maybe? Uh. 
All right, looks like we're headed in here now. Okay, I can't attack. Why is my stuff not working? There we go. Going into the cellar. Oh, after this guy. Sir Buffalo Billsworth? <laughs> I got decent far too. If you take a real life friend to the game, it's actually a decent time. Yep. Cannibalism is frowned upon, Nate, unless you're wearing a Pantheon shirt. How good of you to join me. Let's talk. So I'm allowed to. Got the pass. We need to speak quickly. I doubt I'll remain undiscovered for very long. Uh, you really like to show off your magic, don't you? This projection, a simple spell. Nothing to it, really. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I want to discuss. I'm hiding in an empty servant's quarters at the moment. I discovered that Prefect Kalo is no longer in charge here. In fact... Why would the Uraxians arrest one of their own officers? That's the thing. Prefect Kalo isn't really one of the Uraxians. Oh! His cohort of Imperials accompanied my half-sister into Rimmon, but he's been a vocal opponent of her coup and subsequent claim of rulership. Apparently, he refused another order. Where are they holding Prefect Kalo? Kalo's probably being held at one of the lower levels. See if you can find him. He should be able to tell us more about the Dragon Guard and Solinia's orders. Wait a moment. I'm about to have company. I'll find my way to you as soon as I can. Alright, I'll try to find Prefect Kalo. Ooh, I just got my Dawn's Wrath up to 50. Nice, nice. Oh, whoops. Missed. Ladder. Sand Swirl Manor. Here we come. Uh, is the EQ New Live Progression server worth the go since I can't get a hold of Titanium Edition? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yellowknack is a lot of fun. And there's lots of people playing. Camps going. Get groups. Get pugs are moving. So yeah. It's, I think it's worth it. You're not one of Euraxia's mercenaries. I'm Prefect Kalo. Commander of the Cygnus Irregulars. And you're that outsider working with the Khajiiti militia. I expected you hours ago. Well, let's not dawdle. You have an assassination squad to stop, I assume. So, if you'd open my cell... How do you know who I am? It's elementary. I pay attention to every significant event that occurs in the region. Okay. It comes with my job description. All right. I have agents, spies, and informers from Riverhold to Rimmon. The dossier on you could choke a Wamasu. Huh. Now, about this door... First, tell me why they locked you in that cell. I'm an Imperial without an Emperor. My cohort was assigned to accompany Euraxia on a fact-finding mission. She turned it into a conquest. Mm. I tried to temper her more violent tendencies, but her mercenaries outnumber my legionaries by a wide margin. Okay. So why lock you up now? I refuse to direct order. Wouldn't give Solinia my soldiers or my file on the last Dragon Guard. Mm. So, here I am. How about this? You can find a copy of the report in my office. If the information it contains helps you, then come back and set me free. Okay, that's good enough for me. 
So upstairs, yep. Alright, let's hear about this last Dragon Guard fella. Or lady. How do I get in there? Okay, here we go. Duplicate copy report, blah blah blah. We began looking into reports of a surviving member of the disgrace and disbanded Dragon Guard hiding in the wilderness northern elsewhere. First, in regards to Euraxia Tharn's interest, contacts in Rimen inform us that she has ordered a thorough search of the Royal Archives to turn up every scrap of information the Khajiit have gathered on the subject. It seems that the legends pertain to Order's ancient origins as dragon hunters of renown have caught her imagination. Whether this is because the dragons are also interested in the matter, we have yet to ascertain. ascertain. Consulting with Moonsingers has turned up contradictory information. One keeper of stories claims that an entire Dragon Guard Legion has been hiding in the Scar since the dragons appeared in the ancient past. Another tells me that a single caretaker remains guarding the secrets of the ancient order in a hidden sanctuary. Contacts in the Mages Guild confirm that records kept by the Magisters acknowledge that the Dragon Guard do trace their practices to those of the uh, Akaviri dragon hunters of old. And while most of the Order gave up those traditions after the dragons disappeared to become guardians of the Emperors, some documents claim that a small number continue to train the old ways to keep the knowledge of dragon fighting alive in the event of their return. Here's a promising lead. A contact at the Stitchers claims to have visited a hidden Akaviri shrine deep in the Western Scar. Stories told over drinks claim the place is haunted and studded with deadly traps, but also indicate that a single dragon guard, the last surviving member of the Order they claim, maintains the shrine and waits for the day when the Order will once more be needed, which is now. The dragons are back. Find Abner Tharn. Whoa! Report. Now we can continue our conversation without being separated by those inconvenient bars. Ooh. Ah, there you are. And I see you've captured Prefect Kalo. I presume he surrendered without a fight. Don't look so shocked. My irregulars are very good at what they do. It was simple enough for them to sneak in and set me free. Now, what did you learn from the report? Anything that will help us stop Captain Selenia and her assassination squad? Us? Why would you want to help stop the assassination of the Dragon Guard? As I said, we were never willing participants in Euraxia's conquest of Northern Elsewhere. My regulars did as little as possible to advance her agenda, and mm. we worked to sabotage it as often as not. Besides, have you forgotten about the dragons? What about the dragons? The dragons won't stop after they kill or subjugate the Khajiit. We're in as much danger as everyone else. If Lord Garesh Ri pardons my soldiers, we'll help fight the dragons. But we're going to need the Dragon Guard. Do you know where he the is? The report suggests the last Dragon Guard is hidden in an Akaviri shrine in the Scar. Grand Chancellor, I propose that you get Garesh Ri to pardon the Cygnus Irregulars so we can form an alliance. An alliance? Interesting. Comrades would be helpful in the battles to come. I'll return to Rimen, plead Kalo's case, and send someone to help you. Meanwhile, I suggest you start your search for the Shrine of the Stitches. Okay. I can do that. Wait, where am I going? It's upstairs, I guess. Oh... You stupid Euraxians. Uh, aren't they all dead? Alright, there we go. There we go. Available via torrent for the P99. Nathan, I'd love to see you play my main MMO. This is your main MMO? I play it. I play it on uh, quite a bit, actually. Usually just relax, you know, before bed kind of thing. I do like it. I've made several videos about how I think it is actually a good MMO. Or a good... It's a fun game. It's not the best MMO in the world, in my opinion, but... It's good. It's fun. I'll be doing my first real group content tonight on Pantheon Plus on their Twitch channel at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. 
we're going to be doing dungeons. And, um, I don't know, maybe it'll change my opinion and make me like the game even more. Um, let's just, hang on, did he get on me? Let's just pour it out of here. Where are we going? Way down there. Okay, so, I don't remember, can you, can't teleport to these, I thought maybe you could. Um, ooh, a dragon. Let's, uh, let's just port to here. Just get out of this place. Yes, it is. All right, well, how cool, Isabel? How cool. It's a good game. I like it. I always have fun when I play it, that's for sure. All right, let's go this way. And, guess what, guys? Unless you want to go back and play Skyrim for the 5,000th time, this is, this is Elder Scrolls for a long time. For a long time. How long have I played? Ooh, um, I started playing roughly before, but on the PlayStation though. Not on, and and by the way, I only just do quests. I've not done a lot of content in the game. I do. I've done. I got addicted to Cyrodiil for a while. That is pretty fun. Um, and I mainly just did the questing and stuff. Like I've done this before, but on the PlayStation. Um, yeah. So it was, but basically it was right before they switched over to Tamriel. I played it launch, but I didn't play it long because I was playing Final Fantasy XIV at the time. Um, uh, but uh, right before they changed it, Tamriel, what's it called, Tam Tamriel Unlimited or whatever, Unchained or whatever it's called. That's that's about the time frame I started actually playing it at least a couple times a week. This character is not. My PlayStation 1 is. Uh, I think I might be wrong. But I think my PlayStation 4 guy has somewhere around 1,500 champion. Uh, the champion levels. But this character is 45. I just switched over to PC a couple of months ago. And decided to play it on here mainly instead of the PS4. What's up, Camel Joe? How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? Templar is my main. No, on the PlayStation, actually, that's a lie. I played a Dragon Knight on the uh, PlayStation, but it's my main now. Templar is. Our Skyrim multiplayer mod. Um, yeah, that does look cool. That does look pretty freaking cool, dude. I haven't. I will try it out, though. And stream it. I like Skyrim. I'm just a little. Uh, you know. A little fatigued. But I like it. It's a good game. Oh, am I supposed to be up there? Okay. Steps going up. Goody, goody. Where are we supposed to be going? Up here? Yep. There's Zamorak. This place looks really detailed, by the way. Tarn sent Samarak to assist you against the Uraxian officers Saulinia and her assassin. One Tamriel, thank you, thank you. The locals say that a group matching their description passed through here a short time ago. Tarn explained that we seek a hidden Akaviri shrine. Saulinia has orders to kill someone they believe is the last dragon guard. Saulinia. The assassin who murdered King Hemakar and Queen Numara. Oh. Zamarak heard that name often on the day of Uraxia's coup. Perhaps this one can finally get justice for the royal family. Did you face Captain Selenia back then? No. Zamarak was guarding Kamira that day. We were far from the palace. Anyway, this one learned that the local crime lord provided Saulenia with guides who know the scar well. We must hurry if we hope to catch them. Let's go stop the assassination squad. The scar can be a treacherous place, Five Claw. Even without the addition of a Nibbanese assassination squad. We need to hurry. But we should also proceed with caution. Okay. Hey, there's a... Uh... We gotta go get this. Watch your Where's it at? 
Can I see it from here? Not quite. Let's get off this horse. Where are you? Is it down there? It says it's below. I can't jump. I will die. See if we can maybe get down there without dying. What do you think? It's a pretty far drop. How are you supposed to get down there? All the way around? Okay, okay, okay. That's not the way to get down there. Terror bird. Those are, those are terrifying. Here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, should be right here somewhere. Still says it's below. Ah, there it is. It is all the way at the bottom. Okay. I might be able to make that jump. I can make that jump. There we go. Uh, any chat on the Pantheon release? Oh, I, and click, I did play The Last Red Dead uh, Redemption. Uh, I think that's what it's called, right? Um, that was a really good game. Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, that was a really good game. That was fantastic. Any chat on the Pantheon release? Um, release, like launch? No, I have no idea. Uh, but... Alpha next year, right? I said, like, if it didn't come out this year, then I thought it would probably come out first quarter of 2023. I hope that's still true by, you know, late March at the latest. Man, I hope that's the way it turns out. Because, you know, we'll have at least probably a year of Alpha. At least. Maybe a little more, to be honest. And then we got Beta, and there'll be at least a year of Beta. I would think. I might be wrong about that, but I would think. That was the original plan, at least. And who's killing them? Who's killing the assassins? Yeah, we still got a we still got a little grind here before we get there. So I'm just relaxing in, enjoying Vanguard Saga of Heroes and all these other great MMOs. Just get it all in, you know. We got time. Enter the hidden shrine. Love elsewhere. I have done this on PS4. Yep, me too. I did it on PS4 and now I'm doing it on PC. Yeah, it depends on how good it is. Yeah, and how well it's doing, how many bugs, how many issues, how many things that aren't working the way they intend. Are there precise temperatures? Do storms alter local temperatures for a time? Oh, do storms alter? I don't know. There is a pretty intricate um, weather system, and I think here soon after, I'm hope I I think that we'll get to see some of it in pre-alpha, which is coming up, which this Thursday they're gonna be talking about pre-alpha, um, the the session coming up, um, and I'm thinking since. I'm thinking we'll get to see more of what it looks like in the game, how it affects everything. The assassins, they stalk the southern passages. We must hurry. There may be another way past. Should we try to open this door? Whatever has been hiding behind that door for all these years can wait a little longer. We need to deal with the assassins. They are the most pressing. Okay, Selena and her killers are nearby. Okay, so let's. Check it out. This looks really good with the mist on the ground. That looks good. Traps. A trap. They stopped some of the assassins, but not all of them. We must be wary. Ah! Scared me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Roll. <laughs> Roll. Barrel through the traps, it'll be fine. Okay, that is obviously a trap. Yep. Go. 
gone from sainted memory. Telco on Rouge Tion. Let's see if it was something backwards. I don't think so. Uh, the peace once known gone from sainted memory. The lessons of great agony wisdom from behind the stars. We must learn or we must die. Hmm. Okay. Ah! Walked right into it. The assassin. Oh, stop it. I'm not trying to talk to you. I was trying to jump. No Talon, no Tell, no Fang, devastations of Scream, to Sunderstone, and armies keep silence with our foe, let the shout die in the throat. How true. A dragon's voice does more harm than its claws. Oh. Now I get it. Okay. Oh! You can't hide from us forever, Dragon Guard. You couldn't find an Alphican alabaster, Eurachian dog. Ah! That was the Dragon Guard. We're running out of time. Oh, I jumped in the wrong one. Snap! Okay, dead end. Oh, come on. Okay, tunnel here. Pepe needs to be monthly subscription and to be a sticky game to make money. Yep. I want them to release a game that allows them to build content easily. First release being bare bones works for me. It does me too. Um, but uh, that content is king is one of their pillars, so... We must find a way to the other side. Uh, I see their their strategy is they really want to release with something special right from the get go, right? Because if they don't, it'll just kind of fade and die over time. You know what I mean? So it's a sound strategy, but for us fans who've been waiting forever, we're just like, come on, just let's play. Like we don't need all the bells and whistles. But I see it from their point of view, too. Like, they need this to last, you know? And if it doesn't, like, hit the market with uh, a lot of appeal and differentiators that make it unique and old school, but finding new ways to do the things that you can't do in 2020-whatever it comes out in, you see what I'm saying? the perception system to keep mystery in the world or uh, act or disposition to make this dungeons feel different every time you do them By making the game grindy, it would give them a lot of time to add dungeons, etc. Level 1 to 6 in a week would be horrifying, yeah. And don't forget, like Joppa's been talking about, if you rush to max level, you're still gonna suck. Because you won't have all your abilities, because that takes, you know, going out in the world and grinding a bit, etc. 
You won't be able to climb very far because you won't have good gear for that. You won't be worth a crap in raids because you won't have protection gear for all the various different things. Um, so getting to max level really doesn't mean jack in reality in Pantheon. You still got a lot of work to do to be good, you know? I saw her fall, though. Thanks for that. After all these years... It's the Dragon Guard. Why do I suddenly have... So much company. Dragons have returned. Your Axia sent the assassin because she thought you knew how to stop them. I know about the dragons. I sent word to the other sanctuaries. Other sanctuaries? I thought you were the last of the Dragon Guard. The last? I didn't think so. But no one else has responded. Maybe. No. I know at least one other is still out there. He'll come. He has to. Is there really a way to stop the dragons? Take my ring. It will open the sanctuary. Find the dragon horn. You have to. Have you know, last time I played this on the PS4, I wasn't running the D&D campaign Rise of Tiamat. And I'll tell you what I've noticed. The more you play D&D &D or learn their stories and their adventures, the more you realize that Elder Scrolls is just a D&D &D game. Like, made into a computer game. Because the Dragonhorn, the Drakhorn, um, definitely... The even the names of places are similar. Um, sometimes straight up the same. I don't know how they get away with it. Unreal 5, oh my gosh, it would be epic. No. They keep like using their engine that they make. Just use Unreal Engine 5. It's already done. That's less work you have to do. Just freaking make the game. I know that's it's not simple. Just make a game. But I'm just saying, making an engine and making a game is way harder. I wish they would, but I don't think they will. Ah, there you are. We came as soon as we could. Were you able to stop Captain Selini and her assassins? Uh, Saluni is dead, but so is the Dragon Guard. Did Kamira accept your terms of alliance? Both dead? Selenia deserved it. Shame about the Dragon Guard, though. And yes, it took some convincing and Tharn's most diplomatic negotiation tactics, but Queen Kamira has accepted our help. Provisionally. Provisionally? The Cygnus Irregulars are on probation. For now. Once Queen Chimera sees us in action, I'm sure she'll come around. Until then, I wanted to make sure you were all right. Dragon Guard gave me a key to his sanctuary. We're on our way to retrieve a dragon horn. Sorry, a dragon horn? Like the one at Star Haven Auditorium? Huh. Well, if you think this old relic can help, lead the way. Okay, well this is it right here. Put this ring in. Oh, that just opened the door. Okay. Davval. Are these the remains of the Dragon Guard? Not gonna rob from a grave? Alright. Books and scrolls. I knew it. Knowledge is power, my friend. You'll see. Oh, there it is. Such a small thing when compared to the dragons. Still, we should take it to Rimen, yes? Long paint on the only way to go to get to Star Citizen just makes you nervous it could possibly fall in that same rut. Yeah, except for Star Citizen's making like millions for not releasing, whereas Pantheon's not. Um they would make more money by releasing. I think that's the difference. Star Citizen's in a position where it's making so much money because it's not out. Um, whereas Pantheon's getting by. Uh, also, I feel like Pantheon's individual um, investors that throw down the big bucks would not throw down those big bucks um, if they didn't see 
mass profitability. In other words, it's going to have a lot of faith in it, right? So I think seeing that changes things a lot. And Steve Clover coming on board, dude. Steve Clover's never been on an unreleased game. We're talking about main developer for EverQuest, uh, Vanguard, and others. Like, he's a freaking legend. And he approached them to come on board. So, I think that speaks volumes. To kind of... I understand the, the fear, though. For sure. We've been through a lot. EverQuest next, and... Who knows where else? Where am I supposed to be going? Okay. It is this way. Okay. Is it up here? No. Massive PvP. I played EQ1 PvP. It's brutal. I'm an old horse, but I'm faster now. <laughs> uh, did I go the wrong way? I can't see in here. Okay, here we go. Pretty dark in here. In certain spots, anyway. Ash Creation will, uh, be you believe, will come out in 2024? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that was. Alright, now where are we going? Is there really not a uh, shrine around here? Alright, back to the city of Remen. Turn in. Giddy up, horsey. It's happening again, I see. I, I see. A dragon? Cadwell? Cadwell. What was that about a dragon? Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, hello? Is, is someone there? The I appear to be back in my head. Well, the, the, the... My other head. The other head. This is so confusing. Ah, wait, wait. Things are becoming clearer now. Ah, yes, well, uh... There you are. Oh! So good to see you again, my friend. Cadwell, what did you see? I saw that nasty orc. Necromancer, Zumog Fool, he really is a spick of her. And there was a dragon, a huge, powerful, eyes as big as a house dragon. They called it Karl Grunted. He's mm. champion of the bound time. How do I know these things? Did you see or hear anything else? Well, yes, I did. Seems the ears are as connected as the eyes. They talked about the moons. Something about an eclipse and the perfect time to use the gate. I remember something about that from when I was the betrayer, but the details are hazy. Your memories of your life are returning? My memory returns in dribs and drabs, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. If I remember anything helpful, though, I'll let you know. Where are my manners? They're waiting for you. Queen Camira has called another war council in the throne room. It is John Cleese. It sure is. Do you know what the war council is meeting about? Not a clue, but I know one way to find out. Head inside and see what the Cat Queen has to say. All right. It is. It is that guy. It is, Jason. It totally is. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The archives were extremely helpful once I found the appropriate documents. Our moon singers and moon priests have always paid particular attention to detail. What did you learn? 
Tharn found documents regarding an ancient agreement with the Dragon Guard. Mm -hmm. They apparently provided a weapon to use against the dragons. Right. This relates to the legends of Kunsari and Queen Anequina, yes? Pardon the interruption, Queen Chimera, but that sounds like the Where's dragonborn we found. That dragon guard didn't survive, but he gave us the Anequina Dragonhorn. So this alliance I reluctantly agreed to has borne fruit. The Cygnus Irregulars assisted, but your agent did the important work. A weapon from the Dragon Guard. Interesting. Come, Five Claw. I want to hear your report. Agreeing to an alliance with Imperials. At least it appears this Prefect Kalo assisted you. Tell me what happened out there, Five Claw. I want to hear it from you. The assassin killed the dragon guard, but we did acquire the Iniquina dragon horn. So that is the dragon horn. We got a new dragon great it sword. It is much smaller than I thought it would be, and it looks fragile. Okay, take it easy. Sound it once, and it will probably crumble to dust. All right. What are we supposed to do with such a thing? As always, you have my thanks, Five Claw. Euraxia hoped to appease the dragons by assassinating the last dragon guard of elsewhere. He died, but at least you acquired the Anequina Dragonhorn and avenged his death. Now, if we only knew what to do with the damn thing. It makes noise like any other horn, right? I know how a horn works, <laughs> Five Claw, but this is a relic of ancient magic. I do not want to damage it before we learn the true significance of its power. I will have Tarn do more research. In the meantime, we have another matter to deal with. Another matter? Cadwell's visions strike more frequently now, with more urgency. Tarn believes Zumag Fum is close to reassembling Cadwell's dismembered body. I want you to stop him. The betrayer of legend must not be reborn. I'll find Zumog Fum and stop him from reassembling Cadwell the Betrayer. Abner Tarn checks on Cadwell regularly. Find them and see if they can tell you where Zumog Fum hides. Meanwhile, I will consult with Garish Lee. Review the Kunzari stories before we task Tarn with learning more about the Dragonhorn. Okay. Alright. Guys, I have got to run. i got to get my kids to a doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm going to have to dip out for a bit. Um... Don't forget, though, I, I'll, I'll likely be back as long as I get back in enough time. i uh, be back and stream a little more because I do want to gain some more levels. By the way, how far did we get? We got halfway through 45. Might pop an XP pot and hop back on if I got time. But tonight at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, I got a link in the description. Come check us out. We do it every Tuesday. We play uh, MMOs on the MMO 101, which is a show we do on Pantheon Plus on Twitch. So be sure to come check us out there, 8 p.m. Central. 9 p.m. Eastern tonight um, because we'll be playing Elder Scrolls Online but group content, right? We'll be running dungeons, etc. So come out and have some fun with us and um, hopefully though I get back from the doctor's point enough time to have a couple of hours I can hop back on here maybe get to level 46 or so. Um, but guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me and appreciate the support. Um, it looks like we're a little over halfway to go uh, to goal. Vanguard! Yes, there'll be more Vanguard. Mm, tomorrow's Wednesday. I do Final Fantasy XI tomorrow evening. I, can, I might be able to squeeze in some more Vanguard uh, tomorrow. If not, then definitely like Thursday and or Friday. For uh, Friday would be a really great day to do some more Vanguard. Um, so I'll be back on there for, for sure. I did some Vanguard this morning too. So if you missed that, it's up on the channel for viewing. Uh, where we played in a group, ran around questing in the, uh, what's the name of that area? Kojin area, I believe. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already. We play MMORPGs, tons of them on this channel. And until next time, my friends, God bless, and happy gaming. Bye, everybody. Everybody have a great day. Hopefully, I'll be back on the channel. If not, come find me on Pantheon Plus 